Hi, it's John. Well, a friend of mine lent me or gave me this original wormery about a year ago and I've, I think it's about time I emptied it and I um, took the material off the top because so I've been filling it up all the time when it gets a bit low, put a bit more in and I put it into this other one that somebody kindly gave to me so that one is full up to about there with uh, material being digested complete with worms in it and uh, and, and the stuff here is quite amazing I've just been through it with a fork and picked out a few bits of cellophane and a few odd roots um, but it's got a lovely, lovely lot of fibrous material in here and it, it really has rotted down apparently if you leave the lid off the worms don't like the light so they go down all the time so there's only a few worms that have come across here's one there look, look. I'm not sure whether that's a proper brand I think it's a brandling and there's another one um, sort of wriggler red wrigglers as they call them They're not wriggling much though <laughs> um, they don't like the light so they go down down to the bottom and uh, then presumably you can just take the compost off the top it's a bit of um, shredded plastic there's a, a biro top you know it's funny all the bits and bobs that um, that you get in there that haven't digested, you know, things like um, pot scourers and uh, odd bits of plastic. Um, bit, of egg, bit of eggshell there. But this is lovely material. But I think what I'll do is I'll buy some a bag of grit, coarse grit, from the garden centre. And I'll mix some coarse grit in with it to um, uh, you know, for using it for plants, and then uh, just make it a little bit um, more freer draining. But it's got lots of fibre in there, and there'll be a little bit of loam or clay from uh, you know, or bits of, oh, there's a bone there, um, bits of soil that have gone in here. But that's working great. Hi, it's uh, John. I'm back with the wormery and what I've done I've left the left it open all night or a day and a night so it's not only scared all the worms down to the bottom but it's also sort of dried it out because we've had some dry weather and uh, it's looking really good isn't it Helen? It's fantastic um, it's as good as what you could buy. I'm just picking the odd bits of cellophane out still now I'm gonna oh, what I didn't do before was smell it so I'm gonna smell it Yeah, it doesn't have much of a smell at all. It's um, got a bit of a smell of compost heap about it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a prune stone there that hasn't uh, apparently things like prune stones. If you get put them in again, they they will gradually go down. But I can't really be bothered. Just chuck it all out. Now I've, I've said about some grit because it I think it's a bit it's going to get a bit hard. And you're not supposed to use it 100. Well, I've got some grit. Guess where I got this from, Alan? Um, it was very dusty. The road? Yeah, I've got it from the roadside. Oh. It, ooh. <laughs> it's got half of it in there. Yeah, the wind's going that way. Yeah. And let's just mix it in and see what happens. Because what I thought was, if we need some uh, pot in soil, just get it out of here. Ah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> It's gradually the dust is gradually going into the into the damp worm casts. Oh, it's a bone there. So this will be it. If you need any pot in soil, just take it straight out of the top of here. Oh, thank you. And this, what the thing about this um, grit, it will lighten. It's lightened it all up. Mm. So it's uh, it, it's a lot more free draining. So it won't have any clay in here. Might be a bit of um, 
what do they call it, uh, loam, you know, mm. but uh, basically there we have what we can try as potted soil, see whether the plants like it. Okay, bye, bye for now.